low paid shun COVID tests because the cost of self isolating is too high. UK. Here's a summary of the article. Families on low incomes are avoiding the COVID 19 testing system because they cannot afford to isolate if they get sick, while red tape is hampering access to the government's £500 compensation payments. According to the CIPD, the Association of HR Professionals, when people on low incomes do self isolate, they find it difficult to access the NHS test and trace support payment scheme. Some people have said they're not going to take the test, because if they are told to isolate, they won't be able to work, she said. Middlesbrough Council said local testing data showed low take-up of PCR swab tests in the most deprived wards in the city, but higher levels of positive tests. The council plans to roll out rapid lateral flow tests at sites across the city in the coming days and said it will focus on those wards. In Liverpool, more than half of people in affluent areas in the south of the city were being tested during the lateral flow testing pilot scheme, but take-up in deprived areas in the north of the city was far lower. There is also high variability in how the compensation scheme is applied across the country. We have to ensure that people contacted by NHS test and trace don't lose out financially for doing the right thing. It's a crucial part of the system, which is why we're calling for an urgent review, and it's compounded by the fact that statutory sick pay is so low. This post received a score of 8,500, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wait. You say poor people can not simply stay home from work and therefore are more likely to get infected and therefore have more fatalities. That is completely news to me. Also those poor people are the ones working delivery jobs, in grocery stores, etc., and having a lot of contact with the public. So they are more likely to pass it on. Not supporting people well enough with sick day provisions and the like really has a dramatic influence on how fast respiratory disease like COVID and influenza spread. What I don't get is we have been running a furlough scheme that pays 80% of your salary if your boss says you cannot work. If your boss says you can warn but COVID test says no you get SSP which is far less than furlough pay. Why not offer furlough pay to those who have to self-isolate? It's not perfect but it's a hell of a lot better than current options. Honestly, if someone tests positive they should be offered more than they currently earn to stay home. Staying home on partial pay means you need to catch up on work when you come back, assuming your job lets you come back at all it's easier to just keep going into work. Might also incentivize people to get more tests, helping out contact tracing. I work in a superstore in the UK and we've been told to turn off our track and trace apps, and that came from management. LOL tell him to suck a lemon dam. Duh. If you're not paid to isolate then you really have no choice. Bingo 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Unemployment doesn't kick in if you are quarantined and if you are lucky you still only get 5 days of paid sick leave so the other 5 days are no pay. I had this problem trying to allow certain employees to work from home while quarantined so they would get paid edit, not to throw the asshole card but management discourages people working from home because it's not fair to employees who come into the office. My suggestion to let more people work from home was not taken well. It's above my understanding apparently. In the UK we have statutory sick pay which is guaranteed and is around £95 per week. Some companies can voluntarily agree to pay you more if you're off sick but by law you're only entitled to the £95. If you think someone working full-time on minimum wage would earn around £350 per week, that's a massive drop on the off chance you might or might not have a virus. Also the minimum wage rate I mentioned applies to over 25s, if you're younger then the minimum wage rate drops. We've repeatedly been told younger people are less likely to experience severe symptoms and it's these people which still need to work, on their low wages, with insultingly low sick pay, so no shit people, especially young people, are turning a blind eye to who they've been around. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.